is Musatrapi here from Men's Health Kitchen. And today I am going to show you how to make hot hot buns filled with yummy yummy sausages. So for that all ingredients you need are, come on guys. Yes. Uh, now I will be showing you the ingredients for buns. Then I will show you the ingredients for the masala, the filling inside the buns. So guys, uh, you can, I am showing you a large quantity. You can divide it and make it into half also. So here I'll be using uh, 800 grams of maida, that's all purpose flour, somewhere around 120 ml of water, milk is uh, approximately 200 ml, oil, uh, 80 grams of oil or a little bit oil or butter, that should be 80 grams, then sugar is 120 gram, salt is 10 grams or according to your taste, yeast is approximately 10 to 11 grams. The uh, the quantity of yeast should always be perfect. Otherwise, your buns are not going to come up well. Then I'll be using three eggs. You can go ahead and use even four eggs. It's left over you whether you would like to use a three eggs or four eggs. So now we will start with the preparation. Uh, so guys, for the filling inside, I'm just making a simple filling. Uh, so that it be uh, very simple to you and very tasty too. So for that, I'll be using Italian herbs. Uh, if you don't like Italian herbs, you can go ahead and add any flavoring. Like uh, you can use even garam masala, you can use, use kitchen king masala, you can use any more spice you like. And uh, let me tell you, uh, Italian herb is nothing much than garlic, rosemary, thyme, uh, oregano and all this kind of dry spices made into one. That's Italian herb. This is also optional. You can go ahead and use uh, any masala according to your taste. I have butter that I'll be using for cooking. I have sandwiches, uh, sausages, sorry guys, sausages. I have fresh sausages which have been ordered online. As you can see here, really yum, yum sausages. Uh, sausages here I have. There's these are really yum flavored sausages. You can use even plain sausages. Then here I have a uh, garlic, pounded garlic or paste, uh, pasted garlic. So uh, now I'll show you how to make. Uh, now I'll be taking a bowl. Always see that when you make uh, the dough for breads or buns, always take a metal bowl because it will absorb the heat, the temperature uh, easily so that uh, it gets nicely fermented. Because usually I keep it in a hot place, somewhere near the refrigerator or maybe I'll preheat the microwave and I'll keep it into that. Here I'll be taking the flour in it. This is, as I told you, 800 grams of flour. This is maida, the all-purpose flour. Then, I'll be adding uh, sugar in it. Somewhere around uh, uh, 60, 120 grams of sugar. You can even divide it into the half quantity and make your ingredients. As I'm making a large quantity. Then, 10 grams of salt. You can add according to your taste. Mix all these ingredients nicely in this way. So guys, even you, you can use a whisker also. Then, meanwhile, uh, we will take that uh, 120 grams of, I mean, sorry, 120 ml of water. We will make it to light, lukewarm, little less than lukewarm, little more than room temperature, so that we melt our yeast into it. Remember, remember guys, whenever you add the yeast, the water should not be too hot. Not so guys, uh, whenever you boil the as I told you guys, whenever you add yeast uh, into water, see that the temperature of the water is little more than uh, room temperature, but it should not hurt your finger nor be too warm as it will spoil the fermentation of the yeast. So I have heated the water as I needed. Now I will add my 10 grams or 11 grams of yeast in it. And I will be waiting till it gets nicely dissolved. Leave it for approximately uh, 5 minutes so that the yeast melts easily and become milky. So guys, uh, now I'll whisk the yeast as, it, as you can see it's melted nicely and it's looking like uh, milk, soya milk. Then uh, all of what you have got to do is break open three eggs into it. Three or four, it's left over you. You can use three or four eggs.
this way. So guys, once you add the eggs in the yeast, I'll whisk it slowly. Then I'll be adding milk into it. Whisk all the ingredients, wet ingredients in one bowl and the dry ingredients in the another bowl. Now, with one hand and other, I'll be adding in the, into the dry ingredients. And mix all the ingredients nicely and make it into a, it will become into a nice and a sticky dough. So guys, after mixing the dough, the sticky dough, I laid it on my countertop. First I saw that my countertop is very clean. Then I laid it on my countertop. Guys, another thing, I made a mistake, mistake in telling you the quantity of maida. I repeat guys, I did a mistake by telling you the quantity of maida. I'm using maida is approximately 760 grams of maida. Uh, I repeat guys, I'm using 760 grams of maida to uh, the 4 eggs. So 60 grams of maida, uh, 760 grams of maida guys uh, and 4 eggs or you can use uh, even 3 eggs but I prefer 4 eggs. Then guys, all what you've got to do is put it on the countertop, rub with your bare hands as I'm doing here in this way till you get the elasticity in it. You can go ahead and uh, I have kept oil. I have, remember guys, I'm not mixed oil. So with my bare hand, I'll be adding oil into it and I'll be rubbing it in this way. As you can see, at least for 20 minutes till you get the nice elasticity into it. As you can see the oil here. As you can see the oil here, I'll take oil, put it into the dough and just mix again in this way. Rub, rub, rub till you get the nice elasticity into it. I'll be showing you the texture, the elasticity, what I get into it. This is the time where you'll make your nice muscles, guys. You'll get nice healthy muscles and after doing this, you'll feel really hungry. And you will really feel like jumping into the food. Uh, so guys, uh, this is the way I got tired of rubbing it. I can't continue for 20 minutes. So I call my brother to rub it. This is my brother who is rubbing it nicely with his strong macho muscles. And uh, we, as I told you, we have to rub this somewhere around 20 minutes till you get the elasticity texture. Rub, rub, add oil, rub, rub, add oil, get all together, again rub in the same way. Then I'll tell you next what to do. I rubbed it nicely and my brother also helped me in that. You can see the elasticity what it's gained. It's not uh, tearing or breaking up easily. This is the right uh, condition where you will get your soft, nice buns. Now, so guys, uh, now... What all you've got to do is, we have to keep this for fermenting for approximately one hour or till it becomes double the size. So I took a vessel, a larger vessel, uh, where I can make this uh, dough double the size. I applied oil in this, so to avoid the sticking of the sides. Then all what you've got to do is, apply oil on your hand also, otherwise again your hands are going to become nice and sticky. So in this way, I'll be making it a round dough. I'll collect all this. See that you apply a large quantity of oil on your hands. Otherwise again you're going to suffer with the sticky hands which is very difficult and irritating. I'll collect it nicely. Uh, guys I have lost my blade so I'll be using a knife. You always use a blade, cooking blade which will help you easily and make your work done fast to remove out this uh, dough from the countertop or the ground. Don't waste any of the ingredients, guys. So, in this way, we'll be removing whole of the dough. Apply oil all over so that they don't become sticky 
then we will be keeping it in the vessel in this way and we will cover it with a cloth you can, and keep it in the place where you keep your curds to get set somewhere like uh, near to the refrigerator or some room which is hot but here i will be keeping it in the microwave i have pre preheated the microwave for 200 degrees celsius and i switch it off now i will be keeping this dough into it for approximately 1 hour if it doesn't get fermented well guys i will tell you your buns are not going to come up soft and nice so i will be keeping it in the microwave now so guys here i'll be keeping it in the microwave it's not on it's off don't on it otherwise it's going to bake like that itself so switch it off once you preheat the oven you switch it off and then keep the door close the door and leave it for one hour or uh, one and a half hour till it becomes double the size now for the preparation of the sausages uh, i will take a non-stick pan add butter add somewhere around two to three tablespoon of butter or two tablespoon of butter once the butter starts melting it's a very easy and a simple process as you can see the butter is nicely getting melted Once your butter gets melted, all what you have got to do is uh, take very little guys, I don't want a strong flavor of garlic, just half a teaspoon of garlic, then fry it nicely in the butter so that it start giving the intensifying aroma. In this way, make it, keep it on low flame so that your masala doesn't burn or your thing doesn't burn. Now, uh, you can add a little bit of uh, Italian herbs or if you don't like Italian herbs, you can just keep it simple. I'll be adding a very little of uh, Italian herbs, then a pinch of salt, salt according to your taste, a very less of salt. Here I'm using iron, high iron contained salt. You can go ahead and use any, any kind of salt. Then, I'll be adding sausages into it. These are all already spiced up sausages, so there is no need for me to add a large quantity of spice, etc. Uh, I'll be making only five buns, guys, so I'll be using five sausages. And then, toss it well in the masala. Toss it well in the masala in this way. And we'll be closing the lid. Closing the lid and uh, I'll wait for one or two minutes. We should not cook the sausages for a long time as they become hard. Just one minute. You can sprinkle, uh, go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of water. Just very less amount of water. In this way, maybe a two tablespoon of water to keep them nice and moist. And uh, I'll be cooking this for approximately one or two minutes. If you cook it for a long time, it'll just get uh, hardened. So just for two minutes. So guys, uh, now, uh, after one minute with the closed lid, my sausage is already been prepared. So uh, I'll just move the lid and cook till it leaves out nice oil and the masala gets penetrated into the sausages. And here we have done with the yummy yummy sausages guys you can go ahead have it in buns or uh, you can keep it into rolls chicken roll mutton roll or you can i mean sorry uh, you can make chapatis you can put it into that you can use it in buns or uh, you can even um, use it in your hot dogs you can have it in your sandwiches salads uh, and you can make yummy wraps you can add some coriander some onions some fresh veggies you can make some salsa and add with that also in your rolls chapatis breads hot dogs add some mayo to it so guys uh, i'll now i'll be switching off as it's done so here we have the yummy yummy uh, hot dogs ready uh, so guys as you can see here uh, due to the heat in the preheat of the microwave 
and uh, it's just uh, and the yeast it's just fermented it's become double the size it's looking so lovely all what you've got to do is apply oil on your hands in this way then just one tight box see this guys yum it's looking so nice puffed up slowly with the bare hands remove the whole batter go to the counter top once again Remove from the sides. If the it's stuck, though I applied oil, it's stuck at the sides. Just remove it in this way. Now, guys, uh, we have to just rub this so that the air in that escapes. We don't want the air in it. We have to rub it in this way. Box, box, box. Rub, rub, rub. So that the excess air escapes it from it. My brother has rubbed it so well, and it's given such nice elasticity. I'm surely going to say my buns are going to come just lovely. So guys, now we will be dividing into the sizes of buns we need. Uh, in this way, just apply oil on your hands with the help of a knife. I'll be making balls. One ball, then two balls. This way, I'll be making balls out of it. I'll put a large amount of flour on the countertop, and before that, I'll just clean up the mess here. Uh, there's too many things here. So, guys, I'll be taking a silicone mat here. I have a silicone mat where I'll be placing the buns for the proving. Uh, this I did because uh, I'll be keeping it for proving. Proving in the process where after completing your buns, you keep it so that they uh, just become the big double in size and then bake it. So now I will take uh, always apply oil. I remind you. Ma'am, can you use a normal uh, convection utensil instead of the mat? Yeah, you can even use a utensil other than the mat. But uh, a silicone mat doesn't need greasing and all. I always prefer a silicone item. Now, then uh, in this way, with your bare hand and oil in your hands, just press the buns in this way here, like this. We don't need a rolling pin, etc. Then, so guys, uh, here I have the sausages which I have made, as I've showed you how to make this. All what I'm going to do is keep the sausages in this way. Then they are already spiked up. Uh, now I will be adding. I'll be adding a little bit of butter. Just apply butter here so that it gives a really yummy taste. In this way, I have applied butter. Then uh, I have mozzarella cheese here, as you can see the mozzarella cheese. I'll be just putting a nice slice of mozzarella. So guys, here I'll be keeping keeping a thick slice of mozzarella. Then all what I've got to do is just in this style, in this way, bring the uh, bring the this in the middle and slowly press it and try to bind it. Then. So guys, another shape I'll just show you. All what you've got to do is, you can just make it uh, uh, very long like in this kind. And uh, take a sausages and just uh, roll it over it in this way. In this way, you will get another sausage. But here I'm not going to make it because I want all of the same uh, shape and size. That's the reason why. I'll just show you how to make it, but I'm not going to make it now. All what you've got to do is, Make the size long and long and long and round and round and round in this way. Then take a sausage. This way. Turn it around and round and round. In this way. This way guys. This is uh, one of the shape of the uh, buns. 
it will look very nice and yummy here you can see as you can see her this is one kind of shape but i don't want this shape as my family has requested me to make all of one shape so i'll just make the same as i made in the starting there are many more shapes uh, even my sister has taught me many more shapes how to make it my mom also has taught me many more shapes i'll be teaching you with that in next episode now right now i'll be te teaching you only one kind of shape and then i'll just show you another shape which my sister taught me right now uh, just with the rolling pin or with your bare hand make a triangle like shape as i've made here as you can see just make a triangle like shape in this way then take the sausage see that this is an arrow pointed and this just comes out this way and then arrow like this just roll it off this way so that uh, you get the nice triangle like shape this is one kind of a shape where you will get the sausages from the corners uh, i just wanted to show you the shape so i did in that way i don't want as i said told you i want all in the same shape then there are many other shapes guys you can log into my videos to see how to make different shapes with the filling so now i'll make the normal shape one so guys uh, i'm making the previous shape itself as i had told you uh, i don't like the other shape then i kept the sausages as usual then i took butter nice cube of butter i'll apply it so that it gives a real yummy taste nice a large amount of butter then the mozzarella cheese i'll be keeping a nice thick slice here as you can see here nice thick slice and in the same way i'll be pressing the corners guys i know to do different different shapes as uh, we are uh, keep on making this at home as my family love this buns a lot uh, but right now i don't want to teach you as i've got the recommendation from my sisters and brothers that all want in the same size so next time i'll be showing you how to make different shapes as my sister knows me uh, sorry guys i mean to say uh, my family requested me to make uh, all in one size as my sister knows somewhere around 100 shapes of buns and my mom knows somewhere around 200 shapes of different buns which are very complicated i think few of them i don't know how to do it's very complicated and very difficult to the french brigade then the uh, french plat you know you bake french plat also in buns and bread and breads in different uh, kind of uh, shapes and size and in this way i'll be just uh, making all the buns see that you join the corners the separated corners nicely and in this way do the same thing with the, all the flour so guys as you can see i have uh, made all five buns here with sausages inside now i'll be doing the mm -hmm. egg wash to it with nice sesame seeds sesame seeds sorry guys sesame seeds i'll be giving them a egg wash Ooh. guys i'll be using white and black sesame seeds so guys as you can see i just took a egg i uh, beat it in a container now with the help of a brush i'll be applying as you can see here this egg beaten in a container now i'll be applying this to all the buns as a egg wash you call it egg wash it gives a nice glossy and a yummy looks to the buns then i'll be spr sprinkling some sesame sesame seeds black and white over it to make them look more attractive and tasty so guys uh, all what you've got to do if you don't want to use the whole of egg another option is you can just take the egg white add one teaspoon of water whisk it nicely and apply that also is going to work out the same that's a different way of uh, just giving a egg wash to the buns or breads Uh, and apart from that, it's my mom's and my sister's version to make the buns look more shiny. Usually, people do it, but they do it in a special way. They uh, give it a more concentration on it, as uh, presentation makes a great uh, impact on your recipes or a great intention on your recipes. Uh, so, guys, as you can see, I'm putting the white and the black sesame seeds for as it look very attractive and yummy. when you cut open it with the thready cheese of mozzarella the butter melting and the hot dogs i i mean to say the sausages create a really heavens uh feeling in your mouth guys really yummy
it's going to taste heavenly delicious guys as all ingredients are really yummy yummy into it and the soft texture of buns that yummy non-wet texture of sausages the creamy and the real rich texture of mozzarella cheese and butter you will go mad for it uh, so guys some people use only white which won't look much attractive my sister and my mom you know they're really like always innovative in their recipes so they bought out the white white color sesame seeds and the black color sesame seeds on the bun which will look more attractive and yummy so guys as you can see i have done the same thing with all the five buns now i'll keep this for proving proving in the process where we'll leave this for 15 to 20 minutes where it'll increase the size then we will be baking it so guys i have the leftover dough here bread dough so all what i've got to do is you can make bread out of it so i'll be making bread out of it guys as my family really likes to have hot hot sweet uh, bread so i'll just roll it this way put some flour on the floor or the countertop always whenever you prepare you see that the surrounding is clean apart from that uh, the floor which you're using to rub your dough should also be very clean then in this way uh, I have uh, sanitized the floor uh, nicely so that uh, anything uh, bacteria or just to avoid all those things. So guys, uh, I have sanitized the floor with the kitchen sanitizer. Uh, you're not going to use the normal sanitizer to clean your countertop as it contains fragrance. Kitchen sanitizer, uh, it always stays without any uh, smell. So it will... If you don't have, it's fine. You can just wipe it clean. That's the most great job. Then, uh, great thing, then I'll be adding this dough into the container, bread container in this way. And I'll leave this for proving for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. You can give it, you can also give it an egg wash to it and uh, add some sesame seeds if you like, as I did to the other buns also. Uh, once you keep it in the microwave for proving approximately for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'll be baking it. I'll be keeping it on the convection mode or the combination mode for 180 degree. Uh, just a second guys this is 180 degree for approximately I'll be keeping it for 20 minutes then after 20 minutes I'll check out if they have done uh, I'll keep for 22 minutes then after 22 minutes I'll be checking out if they have done if they have not done I'll be increasing the temperature so this is on 180 degree Celsius for 22 minutes so guys, uh, that was on 180 degree for 22, uh, 22 minutes. After 22 minutes, I will be seeing it. Oh wow, you can say even mashallah guys. All praise to the almighty as you can see the yummy yummy buns being prepared here. So I will be just removing it out. Wow guys. I will say this way. So guys, uh, here you can see the lovely buns being made here. Uh, just don't have it while they are very hot. Let them uh, become little cool so that they get the proper texture and you can just enjoy the taste of it. Now we have got, uh, we have done with the yummy, yummy mozzarella filled sausages filled. Uh, as you can see the lovely thread guys, as you can see the lovely threads of the mozzarella cheese too. So guys, for the written recipe, you can log into my videos where you touch a triangle and you get the written recipe. Please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos.